Hello friends, I've reached level 35 and almost 36 and pretty much opened most of the activities in Zenless Zone Zero. This video is going to cover daily activity and long-term retention of the game, an explanation on what you're getting into when you start this game. My personal verdict is included at the back, so feel free to skip to the back if TLDR is needed. Let's talk about all the possible activities you could do in a long-term, weekly, and daily basis. For long-term content, there are main story, exploration, and combat. You can access them through your HDD monitor on your room. Subquests can also be accepted through your phone when you filter them as compensation. Make sure to walk around in town to talk to a few NPCs to activate some quests as well. You can see blue exclamation mark to know in the map and you can pick them up accordingly. The story is basically the main character taking commissions as a navigator and we are controlling the agents that are partaking in the danger zone called Hollows. Story chapter is based on agents teams and I really like the story with top notch animated cutscenes. The main story has a casual button and it gives you trial characters to be immersed into the story too. So you actually don't have to worry about having strong min-max characters if you're planning to enjoy this game like a package game for story experiences only. The side quests consist of combat and exploration where it has the TB maze like puzzle and battles combined. There are side quests that are actually pretty long for the amount of experience it provides. There's this one quest that kind of worked like Pokemon with Bang Boost. It literally took me almost 25 minutes just to get 500-ish experience points. There is also another exploration quest to figure out a crime scene which took a very long time. And I had no idea what was going on because there are only TBs. I can kind of see what the developers were trying to do but personally the tv exploration quest kind of feel like a failure and this is someone coming from liking puzzle games it gets dull way too fast but a good thing is all of this is actually an optional thing since main story only requires your internaut level to be at a certain level and you can level them by using energy on a daily basis so let's go over daily activities. You can start off by scratching off a ticket from a newsstand. Then you'll be pressing F2 for errands. These take less than a minute because most people will be drinking coffee to get 60 plus energy with drop benefits. Open your video store for Denny's gathering and you already scratched your card at the newsstand at this point. You will also be eating some ramen to get some additional buffs and spending energy from the HIA club for materials. All of these potential energy spenders can be accessed through F2 key and it consists of character leveling, W engine weapon leveling, finding new discs, which is like relics, and skill leveling materials. You can also press Q to communicate with fellow agents you have acquaintances with, and you can do this three times a day as well. Again, and this is optional, but I've definitely seen some funny and enjoyable episodes. After that, anything is extra for people who have battle passes and if there are special events. That is actually it. Zenless Zone Zero Dailies is probably on the very shorter side than other games I personally play. Let's go over weeklies now. The errands also have a weekly. It consists of a few random ones you can choose from. It consists from taking pictures of cats, but eating a noodle plus playing two games at the arcade is pretty good because it still counts if you just play and end it right away. On the F2 challenges tab, there are notorious hunts, which is fighting the story bosses again for special materials for your characters. You can do this three times a week and it does not cost energy. So it's one of those extra weeklies you need to do if you want to push characters and levels. You also have Hollow Zero. Think of this as a simulated universe from Honkai Star Rail. You have maximum points you can receive per week, but in order for you to complete the bounty commission, you will need to play at least five times. Shiu Defense is a one-time battle to achieve S ranks. And that is also basically it for the activities you need to do that are time gated. Everything else is like exploring, side quests, collecting Officer Mimu's tags, etc. Are all optional to get your internaut experiences to go a little bit faster. There is also another set of side quests at the video archive. You get to see side stories of some characters like Agent Eleven, Nekomata, Grace, Coletta, Lycon, and Lisa. They also provide you a trial character for smooth clear and their stories are pretty good with some cutscenes. So what is the verdict? I actually may have an unpopular opinion about this game, but this game actually feels like a package game to me. Unless the developers change their method of updating, you can actually take your time and just do dailies and wait until your internet level to go up and to enjoy the next part of the story. It feels like the story portion and the min-max portion is completely divided as a separate game. So basically you have a choice of getting stressed out by trying to push faster internet levels by torturing yourself with the TV exploration quests, or you can actually take your time and just spend a few minutes doing dailies and wait until you reach certain levels to enjoy the next chapter of the story. Energy spending internet experiences are not that bad either. 
This also requires zero S rank agents or strong teams to do this, since rank up quests are generally easy, and there are trial characters with casual modes. I know a few gacha games that do this similarly, but eventually some games do require you to have some strong characters to progress, and for those kind of games, I wasn't really interested in the main stories either. Zenless Zone Zero on the other hand, I would say to give it a try just on the main story, and don't sign yourself up too much. It's definitely a unique experience for someone who likes anime-like games because their cutscenes and stories are actually really phenomenal. I've seen way too many people pass on this from getting scared of the criteria of heavy dailies, min-maxing, time sinks, and gacha. However, I think I've never experienced a game yet that is truly casual to a point where you can pretty much do whatever you want with your time, but still be able to experience the core part of the game, which is the story and amazing cinematics. With that, I will end the video here. Again, the verdict for me personally, after pushing so far, is I am definitely playing this game for a while because I like the story. Even if I do skip most dialogues, the cinematics and overall experience of me pushing through the story was super enjoyable. If I get busy and if I can't grind, I can still keep leveling up my internet level time to time to experience the next story because they're going to give me trial characters and there's going to be casual mode too. Hope this helped you guys on deciding to give this game a try. As always, thanks guys. Bye bye.